Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. Besker, I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazark. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? Maybe he's forgotten about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? Now cut your fucking throats! Don't do anything foolish. We're all cell swords, Tazal. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of old Valeria. We are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. Bloody hell. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. I'm here to bring you home. What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick! By the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! But perhaps I can give him justice. Oh my god! Okay. We're here with this guy. He's still got his medicine and stuff. We made it to Castle Black. Look at the elevator. Wow, look at how how high that wall is. What is it, 200 feet or something, supposedly? Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Recruits at the gate! Yep, and I'm not getting led by one of your guys, so I'm not a rapist or anything. That's all we've got of who's Forrester, I think. Squire turned fighter, turned Watchman of the Black. Um, I mean, we could go in, but I guess this is a good place to intro because I'm going to break the video up. So, thank you very much for joining me. You join me, McReeps. We are playing as Gerard. Or Gerard? Gerard, I think it is. And uh, if you remember him from episode one, he was a squire. You a rival, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. Don't eat the horse. Don't eat the horse. They're going to eat the horse. Are we going to see John in this one? I think we might do, because he was the... Wow, like look at that. built by giants, doesn't it? You're new. Here to take the black. Mm hmm. Because you got that look about you. What look? Aye, I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. 
Handles all new recruits. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> That's just his way. You seem nice. That's not so good round here. Uh oh. Who have I got to punch in the face to show that I'm not nice? Is it like prison rules? Don't be a good guy or you'll end up sucking some random guy's penis. At least that's how it works on the movies, right? So I'm just going to walk up to somebody and beat them senseless. Can we use a barrel? Huh. It's warm. What's in it? That's why they call him Frostbite. I get it. That's a functional nickname. <clears throat> a Frostbite. It's not you, Frostbite, it's Frostfinger. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Okay. Who are you, boy? I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath? Mm hmm. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the war? You're a thief, a raper. You abandon your post, or do you just fancy dying someplace cold? I killed the men who murdered my family. Then you know how to fight, at least. And you're no liar, either. Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Oh Forrester. shit, old Dunk sent My me something. Wrote to the Night's Watch. Good lad. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You are a killer. Mm hmm Even if you are man enough to own up to it. Yes, sir. Now then, we'll start your training in the morning. We'll tow the lane. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. We'll just keep our head down. Oh, and Tuttle, sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. Nope, not going to happen. Comes, try to make it quick. You will see. You're fucking with the wrong Tuttle. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay, so Malcolm caught a ship headed for... They give us month-old bread! There's fucking worms in it. And Lord Whitehill is about this. We should just take what we need. I'd rather die... The Whitehill soldiers always starving. seem to be angry, and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. It's not going near them, though. They're going to know all about it. You know what else? No fucking wine. Well, there must be wine in the cellars. Why should they get the wine? The locked him up tight, just like his own cunt. He has no fucking right. Lord Whitehill will bring down the hammer. And the axe. I cannot What's wait to him? slaughter you. Has to be, doesn't it? He's hideous. He's a bloody Had a run -in with Walder Frey, and he's leaning on a girl. Should have buried him with the corpses. Forrest is a real first. shame about your leg, well, my lord. Give us a toss. Don't let go of your sister I... now. What a disgrace! I am. I am going to cut each and every one of your throats. Nice mustache, though. Who are you? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> Is that my dad's sword? Go round. Move aside, soldier. 
I'm quite comfortable, thank you. Oh, you. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Oh, you are you. You. I mean, these little idiots. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs. Or this house. He's gonna hit my legs. You put the Whitehall men on notice, didn't I? Uh oh. Go on then, my lord. There's going to be repercussions for that. Let's go. I see that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's madness. You can't starve them out. I will out. not coddle our enemies. So you'd rather they riot? Both of you, please. If they riot, we'll fight. That's foolish. It doesn't matter what you think. It's my decision as sentinel. Yes. My lords. It's about time we kick some arse. Roderick. My boy. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. I get the big boy seat. Very nice, fits very well. It's good. It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. I told you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps yes. we should get started. Yep, straight down to business. Yes, let's. Tell me what's been going on. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim. No thanks to your sentinel. He's riling up the Whitehill soldiers. They're our bloody enemies. You'll bring Lord Whitehill down on us, you fool. My lord, please. Oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsay Sir Roland. Ethan made it clear I wasn't wanted. No, he no, he did not. You there. Now he's dead and Ryan's a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no bloody army. It's because you have no Oh, it's time for the hammer. You. Boom. Listen. I am your boys. Lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, when we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. Hey, hey, you're the one that you're the one that we said. Don't have one. Not anymore. Then find me one, Sir Royal. That's no simple command, oh, my I lord. I thought that said I could Most get of one. Our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. We'll get Beshka. Our are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. I know a few people. You forget the Glenmores. You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Well, you wouldn't let me and her decide earlier, would you? Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now. He's barely recovered. I'm not ready. My son, I understand your doubts, but if she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, this marriage could be our chance. I don't even know if us. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry yep. Roderick. Sister speaks sense. About a marriage. Not an ironwood contract. Dahlia does have a point. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. 
My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute. Uh, we don't want them to. Just handle it. Perhaps a few meals are in order, but no wine. It's a start, at least. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. I'm sitting on the fence a lot in this episode. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. Thank you. It's good to be back. What's the ironwood torches? What they what do they represent? They represent that the Lord's back or something? Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. Oh. How is your song coming? Ethan always helps me with music. It's not the same without him. I don't have time to do a song. You're a fine musician, Talia. You'll do a great job. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honour him well. We got no time for music. We got to think about killing bitches. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Not after last time. <coughs> it's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table setting. Mira is so beautiful. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. Uh oh, I'm going to sneeze. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. We'll make a large donation. You're in our thoughts. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. There you go, that's lovely. A lovely sentiment, Mira. And we're not going to, we're not going to spend any money doing it. And the seal. Here you are. Oh yeah, we could have stole the seal last time. She would have been like, where's my seal? Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favourite drinking companions. Is that the call boy? I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. Wait, go go see what that little creep's up to. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? We are not sure. You may ah, have to help me. It's my help she's after, mm -hmm. isn't it? As usual. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet you'd be forcing their hand. That isn't the way I do things. Oh. You pushed me before and you saw the result. Oh, I knew it. She's not going to be happy. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. Roderick does have a massive Roderick. I'd better it's get like going. Like a baby's arm clutching an orange. Mira, we'll talk more later. Thanks for your help, Marjorie. What are you going to do, Mira? What are you going to do? There's not much you can do. You don't have a seal. Don't fake it. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter...
Uh, there. We're not going to go behind the back. No, not not in a million years. We're going to need her later for sure. I'm sorry, Roderick. Sir Maynard, you are hereby invited. Mira, Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Mira, Mira, on the wall. Ah, she's up Sir to something. Sir Maynard. Oh, the man's breath smells like a brew house. I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk... What would you like to talk about? If you don't mind. No, go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead, then. That was a little well, bit blunt. Jesus. It's... We really should get these letters. No, first. no, let's talk. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Wow, we're we're being really shorty with her. Where are we now? Back at the wall. Meanwhile, back at the wall. Hey, frost fingers. Buckhead. I think he's talking to you, buddy. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Fuck your spot. So move. No. Stand your ground. I'm not moving. Wrong fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> Frostfinger and his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago to defend the... I, I don't really care, buddy. I had this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordly. He tried to stick me with this. Nice. Nice blade. I stuck it in him instead. Good on you. So next time I say move... You best fucking. Well, do you know why I'm here? Sure. Fuck face. Oh, once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what dire crime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. You mean fucking potatoes? potatoes? Oh, here, yeah, there we go. He's saying exactly what I said. You fuck potatoes. <laughs> no! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the war. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Hey, don't fucking talk about my sister, all right? Well, I got sent here for Who in seven hells is talking back there? Us three. Larry Curley and fucking Morlick. Tuttle. Who was it? We're not going to stick them in silence. Covering for your new brothers yep. already. Yeah, they're my brothers. They're idiots, but they're brothers. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. Yes, please. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all going to show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you. Frostfinger. Hey, there he is. I need a word. Snowboy. Go on, get started. Best of luck, Tuttle. Hey, I didn't dob you in, shit brick. Here we go. Again. Well, we're good with the sword. See those dummies? Those are thens. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Again. Let's go see how strong we are. We're gonna look. 
Why would we look? Alright, the, they're all watching us. Okay. Where's my where's my barrel? Check this shit out. Watch how strong I am. You there, recruit. Scrawny, I'll Scrawny, I'll show you. I'll juggle these barrels. See if you can carry one of these barrels Easy the money. Point. Let's go. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. Uh-huh. Let's go. Pick up the pitch. Whee. Whoa. Want some help? <laughs> Don't need no help, you big ham fisted idiot. Where's the elevator? Move. You can't go left or right. Excuse me. Good lad. Come on, you can do it. Determination, come on. Grit and determination, we can do it. See? Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. Don't you worry when you're firing a bow. I'm thinking steward for you. You can help Frostfinger wash his cock. If the thing hasn't frozen off. Um, we're not we're not gonna stoop to it. Ranger. Just you watch. I'm not holding my breath, brother. Was we supposed to pick the one we were best at? Oh no, we, now we get a chance. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready for the practice dummies. Oh no, practice dummies is over there. Okay. A little bit of bow action. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I oh, you crazy idiot. Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming. <laughs> Let me show you. Now we're ready. All right, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. Easy. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Okay, let's go. I'm ready for some arcade let's start action. Easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Uh, check. Poop. That's not where I shot, but that, that's okay. Least. Next bolt. Left target. Head. Left target. Head. Boop. That's, again, that's not where good. I shot, but good shot. Right target. Check. Easy money. Here we go. Swing it over there. Boop. Like, okay, not they're going bad. wherever they want. Center between the eyes. Where's your eyes? What? How big's his forehead, sir? Oh, that's right in the one nose. Okay. You hit all of them. Nicely done. Thanks. What, are you intrigued, old frosty penis? Go check his foot out, come on. Go see your brother. Ben thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. Oh, dear. Right Stop stealing stuff, you don't tell idiot. Him I don't think he'd take it kindly. Give him, give him it back. Give it back to him, Cotter. Are you mad? That's the last thing I'll do. Okay. We tried, Cotter. We tried. We warned you. Let's go pet the horse. That's not even our horse, but we'll say hi. How you doing, horse? Have a little shake? Okay. We'll see you around, buddy. If it gets too cold, you better think about leaving, because we'll eat. We will eat the horse. We'll make glue and all sorts of stuff. Where's, where's the... Hey, no. 
Why? Can go that way? Can we not do this? There we go. Can we can we play on the swords? Yes. Let's go. You watching? Take that! Take that! You grab a practice sword. Yep. Let's go. You watching, Frosty? Oh, we get a pick. Okay. Go for the Go for the black one. This one should do. Yep. Looks very broken. I'll be sparring with you today. Wait, that Remember, two recruits fight and I've got to fight the teacher. Still a sword. Good luck. Let's go. Hey. Oi. Okay. Wake up. I'm sorry. What's the matter? Because you can't hit me? You annoyed? Oh, he likes these moves. Whoops. You're dead. Yeah, it's only because I forgot the bloody buttons. Give me a break. Get off me, you bloody ox. Like old Frosty said, not everyone's cut out for this. Let me spar with him. Frosty, let me spar with him. I'm not done. You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is uh -oh. it? Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it, I'll cut their fucking balls off. How the fuck should I know? You were the last one I showed it to. Well, you and... It was you. What? You little fucking thief. It weren't me. Finn, don't. Uh-oh. <gasps> give me my knife. I don't have it, I swear. Why, why lie? Don't, don't lie. Just give him it. Do something! I fucking warned you! Oh, you want to be like that? You want to hit me? I ain't moving. I won't say it again. Step the fuck aside. That wasn't very nice. And how about this? What's the matter? You gonna try me? Hey, look. Fight! All right, Get let's go. go again. You ain't doing shit, big boy. All right, we'll give it a go. Bosh. Hey, stop moving. Okay. Get up. What is going on here? You stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Kara defended it. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. Has he put it on me? He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Instead, I find you doing this. On your first bloody day of training. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrine. Okay. Frostfinger. I need another man atop the wall. I'll go. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Hey. Oh. oh. Mind your fucking manners. Well, you. that's you told. Come with me. You little shitbag. 